Hey what's going on guys, my name is Marufamim. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do overlapping container layouts using Elementor Flexbox. By learning this layout technique, you can create so many complex layouts by yourself. So without further ado, let's go inside Elementor. By the way, in this tutorial, we will be using Elementor Flexbox container. So make sure from your WordPress dashboard, from Elementor settings, go to Experiments tab, and make sure the flexbox option is turned on okay now let's go back to elementor by clicking on this plus icon i'm taking this container now let's from here duplicate this one now select the main section now let's give it a height to minimum height i'm giving it to vh and i'm taking 100 now from under items align items i'm making it to center and justify content i'm making it to center then from elements gap i'm taking 20 pixel i'm starting with this middle container now from under items i'm making the align items to centered then go to its advanced tab i'm taking two percent of padding then go to rubik's cube icon i'm dragging this image widget here now i'm selecting an image from here i'm choosing this one let's now insert then go back to Rubik's Cube icon. I'm gonna drag a container under the image. Now I'm selecting the inner container. I'm gonna give the content width to full width and width. I'm taking it to 80%. Then go to style tab. I'm choosing the background and I'm gonna give the background color to white. Alright. Now let's go back to Rubik's Cube icon. I'm dragging this heading widget inside this container. I'm changing the text to my text, then I'm making it to centered. Then from style tab, I'm taking the text color from here. I'm selecting hash F9A392. Then from typography, I'm selecting the family, I mean font family, to Mr. De Havilland. Then I'm gonna make the font size to 38 pixel. Font weight, let's take it to 500. Then from Rubik's Cube icon, I'm dragging this heading widget here. I'm changing the text. Now let's make the alignment to center. Then go to style tab. Now from typography, I'm taking the size to 23 pixel. Then from width, I'm taking 500. I'm making the transform to uppercase. Then from advanced tab, let's unlink the margin. And I'm giving minus 12 pixel of margin to the top and 30 pixel of margin to the bottom. Now I'm going back to Rubik's Cube icon and dragging this button widget here. I'm changing the text. Then I'm making the alignment to justified. Then from style tab, from under typography, I'm taking the font size to 12 pixel. Then I'm taking the transform to uppercase. Then from later spacing, I'm taking 1.6. Now close this typography. Then from text color, I'm selecting it to white. And from the button color, I'm selecting hash F9A392. Then on hover, I'm selecting the text color to white. And I'm making the hover color to hash 8ED4CC. Then from border radius, I'm making it to 0. And I'm taking the padding to percentage. Now let's unlink this one. I'm giving 6 to top and 6 to bottom. Okay. Now let's select the inner container, then go to its advanced tab, unlink the margin. I'm giving minus 160 to the top. Now let's unlink the padding. I'm adding 50 to the top. Make sure both of them are in pixel. Then go to style tab. From under border, I'm giving the box shadow. From here, I'm changing the blur value to 40 and spread value to minus 10. Now we can simply just duplicate this one, again duplicate this one, and we can delete the empty columns, oops, empty containers. Let's delete this container. I'm changing the other images and coming back to you very soon. So we are almost done with our layouts. Now let's have a look how it's looking on tablet and mobile devices. From here, let's open the responsive mode. Now on tablet device, we need to fix some stuffs. Make sure you have selected the inner container, this one. 
then go to its advanced tab and link the margin i'm changing the top value to minus 115 then unlink the padding i'm adding 30 of padding to the top then select the heading i'm selecting this one then go to its style tab then from typography i'm changing the font size to 32 pixel then select h2 i mean heading 2 then go to style tab and from typography i'm choosing the size to 18 pixel then from advanced first unlink the margin i'm making the top margin to minus 12 pixel and 10 to the bottom i wanna do the same with the other containers i'll be right back now it's looking great on tablet devices let's go to mobile device we need to change some stuffs select the inner container then from layout i'm making the width to 80 percent and then select the immediate parent container then go to its advanced tab i'm taking the padding to 10 percent i'll be doing the same things with the other containers and i'll be right back also now it's looking great on mobile device now let's close the responsive when you're happy with your work don't forget to click on this green update button i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever we will upload a new video on this youtube channel also if you want us to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact us through our website that's gymfahaddigital.com we will try our best to help you once again thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video for now bye bye